currently the president of the Alumni Association. Um, a born a true Spartan, married to a Spartan, you know, and yeah. All love is for B.W. Harris. Oh, wow. Sure. I mean, I, 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 I like that, you know, born a Spartan, married to a Spartan. How many person you know are lucky like you to be a Spartan and be married to a Spartan? <laughs> oh, sure. I know. But we uh, have a lot of us. Oh, wow. A lot. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can tell that we're going to have a very good conversation here today, but let's get started to, I mean, to it here uh, with it, sorry. Uh, let's come to the history of the school, and then we'll come to a little history uh, concerning the Alumni Association. The name B.W. Harris, I didn't live in Moravia all along, not until after the war, but when I moved to Moravia, you know, that name, you know, uh, is out there. So, Tell us, starting with you, uh, Mr. Hansford, a little history about the school that you know. Uh, B.W. Harris, uh, the school is an Episcopalian school. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Hansford, can you increase the volume of your device? You are a little low, sir. Yeah, it's a little louder. Mm -hmm. It's an Episcopalian school. Mm -hmm. We work on an Episcopalian diocese. Mm -hmm. uh, it was founded back in 1960. Uh, and is it is the school up on a hill on Broad Street? If you know, we call it Broad, up the hill number one, mm -hmm. uh, Snapper Hill, and it's been ex assisting for that amount of time trying to educate uh, on a, on a Christian basis, you know, deserving students and students, and giving students opportunity to learn and grow. So uh, during the glory days, if I can pull it that way, uh, what other schools were competitors to B.W. Harris and how did you see the competition at the time that you were number one or number two? Uh, well, we've always been number one, and the glory <laughs> days have always been glory days. So, <laughs> yes. even now, even though the country is faced with you know obstacles, and, and we're, we're still, we're, it's still glory day. The children of Sparta will always be Spartan, and you know what we have a saying once a Spartan, always a Spartan. So, once you walk through those doors. You automatically become a member of a society of people who grow together, who learn together, and mm -hmm. who support each other. So, some of the schools, I'll say, our, our main competitors were, were St. Patrick's, uh, CWA, MC, Cathedral. So, you know, we, frankly speaking, we were we were dominating everybody. I and you 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 show you show you were number one. Somebody tells me, I mean, why you expect the uh, the woman sending the bowling to say that my bowling is not the best? We always be in all aspects, in all aspects. All right, all right. Thank you so very much. Let's come to you, Alicia. Still talking about the history. I'm in, I'm curious about the name Spartan. I mean, what does that mean? Uh, what's the spirit behind that name? And and how did that name in any way? shape your love, your motivation, and everything about the school that you attended? Well, as Daphne said, uh, we, once a Spartan, always a Spartan. I started Peter Harris from kindergarten mm -hmm. until I graduated in 1980. Oh, wow. And can you imagine that Peter Harris is all in my blood and all in my soul? Mm -hmm. This is a school that I learned everything from, fellowshipping, uh, being with one another, uh, learning how to love your friends and associate with other, uh, you know, partners outside. But Peter Harris has always been a school that we have a unique bond mm -hmm. that anywhere you see a Spartan, we call ourselves Spartans. Anywhere you see us, we always recognize one another. We have the love for one another. No matter how you argue with one another, but when you get to convention, it's what it's all about. We are so close and unique family that anywhere you go and ask somebody, do you know this person from Bita Harris? They will always say yes. So wow. being a Spartan is a strong, as you see the symbol of Spartan means strength. Mm -hmm. Being a Spartan, we have strength. We have, we have a unique capability of sticking together and right. fighting right. together and being one as, as our uh, founder, Father King, because when we founded this organization, it was founded in, in America, in North Carolina, in Charlotte. And Father King was there, and there's somebody we will never forget in our lives because he he the one structured us to be where we are today. Thank you very much. And uh, when 
Adolf was speaking. Uh, he said he is married to a Spartan and he is a Spartan. Uh, is that the case with you? Or you're not that lucky like him? No, uh, I'm not lucky like him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm married, to, I'm married to a person that's not a Spartan. So, mm. it, it, you know, but we have a lot of Spartans that are married to Spartans. Spartan. Because, you see, when you when you go to a convention, when we started a long time ago, you right. meet your soulmate and, mm. you know, you get to know your soulmate and you marry your soulmate. So it's a unique thing because both of you understand what you need to do and what is going on, and it makes the marriage more easier. Thank you, folks watching us here at Focus on Liberia. Of course, you're watching Focus on Liberia Spotlight. We are in conversation with the Alumni Association of BW Harris, that prestigious high school or school, if I can put it that way, in Liberia that has contributed to education in our homeland. We were about to come to uh, Adolf here, but it seems to be his connection there is doing something else. Uh, I hope that improves soon. All right, I think he's back. Great. So, uh, Mr. Lucky Man, if I can pull it that way. So, <laughs> talking about yes. history, anything you remember, uh, concerning the history of the school as a student then going to school, your teachers, you know, sports, talk to me. What was those things that stood out to you as a student, you know, and as a Spartan? Yeah, my, my days at uh, BDL High School that I vividly remember, mm -hmm. um, one thing that once you enter BDL High School, Mm -hmm. You enter Spartan Kingdom, and then everyone, regardless of your ethnic background, your social background, be it you want a rich family or a poor family, we all consider each other as Spartans. Mm -hmm. So uh, there hasn't been any event in our, in our, our days at BDR School where in we discriminated among each, amongst each other. Mm -hmm. We took each other as Spartans and we continue to take each other as Spartans. You know, so Bidia Harris School is so unique in a way. It is the only school that is still with on Broad Street. And for the fact that academically we are very strong. Oh, connection that in Liberia. Um, I wanted to ask him because uh, Mr. Hansford said you guys were number one. I don't know if he met academically. I'm just curious about sport too. If, 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 if this sport. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Edward, are you back Hello? with us? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think he's back with us here. Um, Edward, I was just about to ask you too uh, uh, about uh, uh, sport were you number one because Hensworth said you guys were number one. I think he meant academics. Uh, were you number one in sports, Mr. President? That is for you. I think he got frozen there. Yeah, all right, he fell off. So, uh, that question now I will defer it to you, uh, Mr. Hensworth. Tell me, were you guys number one in sport? All across the, all across the spectrum, uh, like in any, like in any school, you you you. You mm -hmm. excel in certain sports, you mm -hmm. grow in certain sports, you learn in certain sports. So through our, our history, mm -hmm. we had different sports faction. At, at one point, we were, we were one of the top schools in basketball. Oh, and okay. We, uh, even grew to have, uh, we, we grew to have a, a strong soccer program. That was okay. okay. We, we attracted some of the best players in, 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 in Liberia, all across from IE, Baro. So, so in our, we had a, a Nice girls basketball team. So you know, so across the spectrum, we've been good in, in different sports in different in, in different times. You know, so so the whole idea was to develop and like it have said, you know, regardless of your background, once you walk through the door, you are a child of Sparta. Now, if you know the history of Sparta, Sparta is is a Greek word from mm -hmm. the Greek city state Sparta. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a lot of people talk about the three hundred. Well, when the Spartans defended themselves against the, the, the aggressors, and that's who we are. We always defended each other regardless of, mm -hmm. 
what the situation was because we were taught early. I too uh, went to BWI from kindergarten until I graduated in 1983. So, so you can imagine, uh, like Latia said, BWI runs in our blood. So our goal is to defend all Spartans, to work with all Spartans, and to continue to support that school in the best way that we can. So across the spectrum, sports, sports-wise, throughout the years, we were, we were good in different sports in different times. So across the spectrum, we we're, were good in what we did. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Well, let's try to get to the main thing here, um, talking about the convention for which uh, you reach out to us. But before we do, there's something I really want to, uh, one minute each of you here, the graduates nationally, I, I, I want to believe B.W. Harris, you know, has produced graduates who became national leaders. I will get each of you a meaning uh, and starting with Lethea here. Um, are there some national leaders before now uh, who came from B.W. Harris that you know who are making contribution to national development? Yeah, we have a we have a whole lot. Uh, we have uh, people that was in the representatives. We have the lawyers, doctors. Uh, I mean, out there mm -hmm. that you know, the, even uh, the minister of health. Mm -hmm. She's okay. from Bida Harris. She's so a spouse. Yeah. So we have a whole lot of uh, uh, spartans out there that are contributing to uh, our country, mm -hmm. and um, myself, I contributing to my country too. Okay. So we all are uh, one, and we all are doing well for Liberia, and we want to keep on doing it because we want to keep on helping the students uh, of Peter Harris to make sure they advance themselves, just how we have already advanced ourselves. So that's that's what I you know I want to I yeah, hope for all day to, for us to help. But, uh, you know, help ourselves and help them. Thank, thank you, thank you. That, that, that is very, that is very noble, uh, uh, Mr. President. Saki, are you back with us? Yeah, you're still having some issues. So, uh, as for uh, you go, and then uh, one, one notable, one notable person was Judy Bryant. Yes. Okay. Judy Bryant is a graduate of BWI in school. So, oh, okay, I didn't know that. You know, across the spectrum, we have, we have. People in the, in the House of Representatives, you know, we, we have people who have aspired to higher positions. So we, we will continue to, to work on that. And the only mm -hmm. way we can do that is by what? By educating the, the, the children of BW Higher School. Mm -hmm. Basically, as you said, you know, as your program you know, is focused on Liberia, you know, all across the spectrum, like Latia implied, we have doctors, we have lawyers in and out of Liberia who who working towards this effort to help, you know, build BWI school into a premier educational institution so that you know Liberia benefits by educating you know all this all the students there. So yeah, but across the spectrum, we, we, I think we've done a good job of, of producing leadership. Well, like thank, thank you so much, uh, Mr. President Zaki. Are you back with us, sir? And can I say something before the president come on? Yeah, we please. We even have uh, Yiba Bui, that we have uh, Clement Sir Urit. I mean, we have a lot of them out there right. that have gone to uh, to Peter Harris and graduated from Peter Harris. So oh, we yeah. have, yeah, Cecilia Coffey Brown. Cecilia Coffey Brown, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. We have a lot of them in Liberia that are contributing to the cause. Mm -hmm. and, and Mr. President, can you hear us? I think he's on mute right now. Yeah, uh, he's, no, he's not on mute. It's just that a uh, yeah, video has good. frozen. Uh, Mr. President, if you can hear us, uh, I send you the, the WhatsApp number. You can call the number and uh, you will be connected here through our system. And uh, they will be able to, everybody will be able to hear you. If you don't mind, uh, you can you can do that. Uh, if he comes by, I'm going to tell him. So uh, let's let get going here. Um. Let's come to the Alumni Association. Uh, Mr. Hansford, you, you said earlier that you started this in uh, 1993, that when you, you started the Alumni Association. What has been your work ever since? And are there some success stories that you want to share? Oh, yeah. Um, when we started the organization, it was to foster unity between us in the States. And then we realized that mm -hmm. we had our school back home mm -hmm. still has students in there. So over the years, we've probably we made it over three hundred thousand dollars to BWI school. We currently, currently we put 
51 students on scholarship. We contribute to building development fund, um, trying to improve the school. The, the building is old, so we're trying to, to raise funds to support that school in that effort, you know, repairing the school, mm -hmm. cleaning up the school, provide, providing water, uh, running water. We even have a, a presentation for a solar system, uh, solar, you know, for the school. So, so there, there's a wide range of things that we do for the school. But primarily, uh, due to COVID, um, our funds were, were a little bit shaky, but we were still able, we managed to do uh, 51 scholarship students, okay? And then we were able to send to the school during COVID also uh, food for the teachers to, to support our teachers with some funding for the teachers also. We also do uh, development teacher development workshop and like programs. So we have, we have in our budget from the USA, we, we schedule an amount of money um, based on recommendations from the school that we, we put into our budget, we vote on it, and, and we support the school in our effort. So when you talk about the scholarship, I heard you saying 51. Uh, that means they are getting uh, full tuition, right? Correct. All right. Thank you. And and you said you've been able to raise over uh, 300,000. Is that yeah, United States yeah. dollars since you started? Yeah, from the inception of, of the Alumni Association in the United States. Okay. All right. Thank you. And let me come to you, uh, uh, Lithia. Uh, the activities that you've been involved with, I know he uh, listed a lot, some of them, uh, that say include providing internet. Uh, you add to what he said, I just want to know why are all the activities, why are the contributions you're making specific, in specific areas? Oh, uh, at the school in, in Morovia? Yes. Okay. Even we have the uh, computer lab. Okay. We uh yeah we have the computer lab that students can go into the lab and you know get on on the internet and mm -hmm. search for the you know their homework the studies mm -hmm. and different things they want to do. Okay. We also have the basketball court that they have fixed the basketball court you know for them to go ahead and be able to you know play there and bring other schools to challenge them on you know the court. So we have a lot of things even the cafeterias and everything. I mean the school the school has I mean the alumni association have done a whole lot for the school in Liberia and the kids in Liberia. So when you go to be there, Harris, and you look at the different improvement that uh, we have made at the school, we have done a whole lot to you know, upgrade the school and to help the kids uh, have a better life. All right, the president is with us yet. Uh, thank you for making that effort. The Alumni Association uh, has been trying uh, to help you know, keep the school running. I mean, this is your way of giving back to the school that has given you a whole lot. I, I, I can you know, say that that is the goal behind this. You want to look behind and contribute to an institution that helped to make who you are today. Uh, Saki, you are in Liberia. Tell me about how much good the contribution of the Lumina Association has been, not only to the school, but also to the students. Talk to me about that. Saki, okay. uh, Saki, if you can hear me, uh, I send you the WhatsApp number. I think you can call the number, the WhatsApp number, and then I will connect you to our system here. Uh, I think it will help a lot because the internet might be poor, so you are freezing, Mr. President. If you can do that, I think that will that will help. Um, I, I don't want you not contributing. Uh, you, the men on the ground, we want to get, you know to know all the things that are going on there. So uh, Saki, if you can hear me, call the WhatsApp number, I will connect you to the system and everybody will be able to hear you. All right, let's keep making progress here. So the Alumni Association, you are going for a convention. Um, and from what you told me, this convention will be in Liberia. Does it mean you've been having some convention here in the US in the past? Uh, yes, we have. We have. We've had a convention every year since 1993, mm -hmm. uh, with the exception of 2020 COVID. Um, mm -hmm. We did not have a convention, but we even had a convention. We had a Zoom convention in the United States this year, mm -hmm. a very successful Zoom convention in the United States this year. Yeah, um, Mr. Hanswan, so hold on. I, I just want to, uh, Saki, can you hear Hello? us? Okay. Yeah, Saki, I'm, yes. I'm saying. 
if you don't yes. mind, you can I'm call here. the WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm saying you can call the WhatsApp number. It seems to be your video is having, you know, some difficulty there. I send you the WhatsApp number. You can call it. I will connect it in the system. Everybody will be able to hear you. If that is okay with you, because you know the in and out is creating distraction. If you don't mind. All right. So yeah, go ahead, uh, Mr. Hansford. Sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. What was the question again? Yeah, the question was, use this convention is going to Monrovia this time around. And I asked the question, does it mean you have been having convention here in the U.S. as the Alumni Association in America? Yes, we've, we've had a convention since, we, since our founding in 93. Mm -hmm. uh, we even had a, a, a Zoom convention in the United States this year, a very successful Zoom convention in the United States. And, and what has been the goal of these conventions that you've been having? To raise funds to, to support the school, um, mm -hmm. like I said, support mm -hmm. the school through our scholarship program, our teacher our teacher initiatives, you know. So all these different things that we do for the school, we have a building uh, infrastructure and development fund to help, mm -hmm. you know, clean the school up and to make the school better because it, the building has been there for years. Mm -hmm. So working along with the Episcopal, Episcopal, Episcopal Diocese, you know, we're doing the best that we can to help, to keep reaching out to the school, to help the school. Um, and also, we have, we get a lot. We in the United States get a lot of help from the, the, the principal, uh, Hillary Cullen, and Saki, who is our our representative on the ground. So. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much, uh, Lydia. You want to chime in there, and if you wish to do so, I have a question for you. I heard about this uh, B. W. Harris Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm curious as to how that got started. And you know what is the the goal about this uh, B. W. Harris or uh, I mean, water fame? Sorry, water fame. Talk to me. Well, that uh, uh, that question should go to Daffy. Excuse me, because uh, he was there. <laughs> 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 he, he, he was there at that time at the convention when it first started. Okay, then we'll, then we'll we'll get to you later. Hans, well, let, go ahead. So so we have in the United States and in. in the, the United States Bay Area Alumni Association in the United States and the Bay Area Alumni Association in Liberia, mm -hmm. we have what we call our capital campaign. Mm -hmm. Our capital campaign goes up, up beyond your normal, you know, pay your dues and then register for convention. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea between the Wall of Fame, the, the, the Hall of Fame, and all of these different tiers mm -hmm. steps was for us to be able to raise extra funds. Mm -hmm. So, so from a top tier of twenty five hundred dollars uh, for a lifetime membership to five hundred dollars for for a Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. you know you can contribute more beyond your normal. Let me register for convention. So that one one of the the, the mechanisms we put in place to be able to raise extra funds beyond just the money we raise at convention, you know, and it's been highly successful. I believe we have over uh, twenty. 20 or 30 uh, lifetime members and going down the different tiers, we, we have a, a lot of Spartans who co contribute that way. So, uh, Lydia, you can go ahead now uh, with the question I asked earlier. Uh, with the Hall of Fame? No, you, you deferred that to him and he answered that. Okay, and so I, 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 you... I, Okay, yeah, I wanted you to chime in on the conventions that you've been having, he said you've been the oh, okay. and to raise money and to go uh, to, 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 to Liberia to be able to contribute. And so I wanted to know if you had anything to add to what he said. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's almost the same thing. We, when we have convention, we raise money and mm -hmm. we make sure that we, you know, contribute uh, to the school in Liberia and try mm -hmm. to help the, you know, for scholarship and different projects that, you know, we have that we do. Mm -hmm. But then also, we also help the uh, association in the space also, you know, to make sure that every, because we have organizations in every state, we have chapters. Mm -hmm. We have a big organization, we have different chapters in every state. So every state, we raise money and send it to the national chapter. So that's what we do to put it together. And then we have a big convention. And when we have the convention, we send the money to Liberia to help the kids in Liberia. All right. So talking about this year's convention that will be held in Liberia, 
you want to share the date and talk about the activities that will be in the convention? Well, first of all, we uh, we have a uh, spot and sell charter of, of flight, mm -hmm. uh, EJ Air. Okay. And this this airlines will be we charter this airlines from Dallas Airport mm -hmm. directly. It's a direct flight straight to Liberia, and will be December 16th through the 19th. That's when convention convention will be. So we okay. I'll tell somebody what coming no, in. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, this the convention will be from December 16th to the 19th. And we are all going to be, you know, getting on the plane, the Egypt Air, Air and we're going to go ahead and land in Ross International Airport. And from there, we're going to go ahead and, you know, start mm -hmm. convention. Mm -hmm. Convention going to be, we're going to have different activities like soccer games. We have the, uh, it would be like a four days activity. We're going to have like soccer games, uh, the, our, uh, uh, how you call it, our annual board. We always mm -hmm. have a ball. Mm -hmm. And we're going to also have uh, a queen contest and we're going to be raising some funds for us to go ahead and, and have enough money to put towards the, the convention. So we have, we're going to have a lot of activities. As I think I sent you most of the activities that we're going to have, but we have a lot of activities on, on the, uh, our agenda for that weekend. And we're All also right. going to have uh, the president we're going to be speaking at our, our ball. Uh, we're going to also have uh, fundraising. They're going to raise some money also. So we're going to have a lot going on. All right. We All have right. we have the president who just joined on the phone. Uh, Mr. Saki, again, welcome. Um, so, so unfortunate now. Yeah, yeah. At least this 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 is better now. Everybody can hear you very loud. Mm -hmm. So you go ahead and, 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 and speak, sir. Okay. Um, basically, the convention this year First ever in Liberia mm -hmm. um, is geared towards um, three major priorities. Mm -hmm. um, we want to raise two hundred thousand, and why are we, why are why are we often often to raise such an amount? Is that because we we realize that we need to give more back to our alma mater? Mm -hmm. You know, many times I've said um, that I realize that. What would, have, what would have happened if they didn't enroll at the high school? Because who prepared me and many other to be who they are today. So it's our social responsibility as a partner to give back to our alma mater. So we we have earmarked to raise 200,000. So the first thing here is that we want to focus on removing the laboratory. Because you know, right now, um, the, the students no longer go for work, but, but they go to work, to go for work, and um, and work entails a lot of um, particle or testing. So we want to we want to build a state of art laboratory, mm -hmm. refurbish it, and then have sufficient equipment there that we enable our students to see the reality of what they are studying. And furthermore, you know, Bida High School is very good apart from academic. We are very strong with the soccer, basketball, mainly. You know, so what we we have earmarked to to um, build a genetic system that is our basketball court. We're going to transform it into an into a, into a gym where in our students we you know we have more time apart from the lesson to be able to open their mind to play and have better recreation. And then tell you know Liberia we are still struggling with like you said it. Um, We focus in His connection is faulting. Uh, bear with us here. Let's see here. All right. He will he, he will call by. Uh, he had a little glitch in his uh, connection. But before we continue, I want to bring in the sun again to pull you guys in the Spartan spirit. And I see a lot of people watching, a lot of Spartans are watching, they are commenting, we'll bring their comments in. We have our viewers also commenting, they are asking some questions and I'll bring those comments. But before that, let's play the song of the Spartan.
Spartans doing it again. Back to where it all started. December 16th to 19th, 2021. 61 years ago, the doors to B.W. Harris were opened to Liberians hungry for knowledge and spiritual development. One day in those blue walls at the top of Snapper Hill meant a lifetime of allegiance and fraternal love. In this era of the Diaspora Bicentennial Anniversary, Spartans are blazing the trail with the first ever reunion back home on the grounds where we learned how to read, develop life skills, and love each other. Tour through the famous B.W. Harris Auditorium, where we honored brilliance and talents. Visit the offices of Father Johnson, Father King, and Mr. Bedell, and other principals. Step on the basketball court that created so many national superstars. Long live the Spartan kingdom, forward ever, backwards never. Be there, don't be told. Join the special charge of For more information, contact the The Sir Adona is our mighty spirit. And I see that you guys are in that mighty spirit. Welcome back to the broadcast. You are watching Focus on Liberia Spotlight, and we are in conversation with the BW Harris Alumni Association. They are having a convention. This one is going to Morovia, Liberia. The Spartans are trying to raise money to make sure that school is running and contributing they are trying to get back the best way they can uh saki is also having some issues on the phone so well somebody share your the link of your website and so um we're going to share that here quickly so this is the spartans website and uh if you go there it will show you all the projects that they are doing you know, I, I saw something pop up just now, like the basketball. This is the school. These are the students that you are trying to give back to. Uh, so there are a lot of things on the website that you can go to uh, for you to read and see. And uh, I see here 2011-2015 uh, project, 2015-2016 project. So from the website, that's a lot that you have been doing. And, and, and it's, it's, it's obvious that those who are in the school, the school uh, authority, the administration, they are so much um, in appreciation of what you have been doing. I want to say uh, this is a water cause, and we are happy to have you here. I, I focus on Liberia. So those who are watching us, if you want to know more about the B.W. Harris Alumni Association, I just displayed your website and you can go there and read more about the association. So talk to me, uh, Mr. Hansford, uh, your website, you know, people will go there and read, but you know, you know more about it. So throw a little light on the website. I mean, what should people expect when they go to the website? You know, what, 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 what the information that is on the website for people uh, to read, to know more about the institution? I think I think our history, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the history of the association, but more importantly, what what we're doing to help the school. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, coming to the website, you know, learning about the association in the U.S. is history is a good thing, but more importantly, what are we doing to help the children of Liberia, to help the children of B.W. Harris School? And you can find a lot of information on there on what we've done. Um, what we plan to do usually at our convention, um, based on recommendations from the principal, um, the board and, and, and the, the board and, and the uh, members of the association will vote on different projects. Um, those that, that I approve uh, will be funded to the school. And like I said, the association get very good support from the principal and the, uh, the diocese itself. They're very helpful in, in helping us to you know, identify projects that will benefit the kids of the school. So, so more importantly on our website is what we're doing, what, what we're trying to do, you know, how do we help our fellow countrymen in Liberia, our, our fellow Liberians, our fellow Spartans, you know, and as we say, once a Spartan, always a Spartan. So whether you walk through that door for one day and you had to leave for whatever reason or you were there for 12 years, you know, you, you have come into a, a, a nation of 
a community of like-minded people who will support you and who will do the best they can in brotherhood and sisterhood to always, to always support what we believe in. And we believe in BWR. All right. Thank you. Let's let bring in uh, people who are watching, our viewers. Um, the year from Peter Quimmy. I hope I got that right. Uh, watching live from Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks for watching there, Peter. Peter, I want to know, are you a Spartan? Make a comment there. I want to know if you are a Spartan. Somebody said correct. B.W. Harris is the Yard State for high school uh, commandery in and out of Liberia. Uh, this one here is from our management here. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. That is from Focus on Liberia that I work for. This one is from Benedict Phillips. Uh, this alumni association means business. Other alumni association need to learn from them. Serial group of people. What a pioneering idea to have a convention in Liberia. I salute all the Spartans. Wish you are a great convention in Liberia and stay safe. Uh, let you have from uh, C. Alak. Academically, for starters, B.W. Harris alumni have comprised of highly accomplished Liberians. Uh, this person said, currently, Cecilia Coffey Brown, who is an alumna of that school. Maybe that's the time I asked the question, you know, give me some names of some, you know, uh, Liberians who are making contribution. This person, uh, Judy Bryan, yet, uh, Lydia called Judy Bryan, who was, uh, you know, may so rest in peace, former interim president of Liberia. Uh, that is Councillor uh, Siri Jones. All right. And uh, also, and somebody said, okay, the person didn't say anything. Uh, yeah, you call Clemency Yuri. Mm -hmm. Lima Bowie is. is Lima Bowie. Right. And uh, yes, somebody I'm called his right. name. What's his name? Uh, Romelli Hunter. Dr. Halter, Halter Romel Halter, Ro president okay. of the Cottington University. Oh, okay. You see that? That, that is great there. And like you have from, this is a long one from Edward Doe, Liberia. The case for advocacy work, Edward Doe opinion colony. There are more than 15 school organizations in the diaspora. Every tribe in Liberia has an organization in the diaspora, even down to the localities like Boucher Island, Negrutan, Logan Town. Okay, almost <laughs> every year, these organizations have reunions and conventions in which thousands of dollars are collected. Although some of these organizations contribute the funds collected to what it costs in Liberia is a long one, but you know our software can allow something that long. Uh, we want to say a very big thank you to Jay Howard Freeman Riches for sharing the website, and that's how I got it. And then I was able uh, to display the website of Veronica C. Ta uh, Jiko. Uh, either of you need to call the WhatsApp number, and he did. Uh, Jimmy Eastman, what date is the convention? I think Alitia answered that question. And maybe she will have to state that again. Uh, hi there, family. I'm watching from Europe. I'm proud to hear about the progress of the organization. And we want you to send some money. We're raising money here uh, for the school. I mean, they are raising money. Hey, the Spartans, watching from my office of Mama Point. Somebody in Morovia. It's watching Jimmy Eastman again. How do we book a seat on the flight? Keep that question. Uh, when is it scheduled to leave? Good question, Jimmy. Uh, Mevin Dishi again. Please share the WhatsApp number I did. Uh, the WhatsApp number is in this on the screen below in the strolling text. That's the last number there, and you can call. Let's hear from Abetha here. Uh, hasn't the basketball court already been renovated? Why are we redoing it instead of using the funds to improve another infrastructure? That's a question for you guys to answer. Um, this is another number you can call. This watch at number is 651-399-1614. If you call the number, if you want to call, we will also take your call. Uh, Mevin is busy here. Uh, memories lives on. I can remember the spirit of togetherness. I also remember I coached the team and the amount of trophy we won together. I sent all of my love to the family. Uh, and she said thanks. Guys, 
So much love, positive comments about what you're doing, especially the one from uh, Mr. Benedict Phillips, you know, uh, you know, trying to applaud your work as an alumni association, taking your convention to Liberia this time around. I will bring in uh, the president, Mr. Saki, on the phone. Saki, you're just listening to Liberians and your fellow Spartans, you know, commenting about this good work you are doing. Your response, sir. Yeah, um, uh, I normal, like I normally say, I mean, it's about all of us, you know, the support that they give to leadership and um, back home and even the, the association in the U.S. Um, I made a question that the people that asked mm -hmm. concerning, you know, um, the level of support that comes from the U.S. Mm -hmm. The uh, Aloha Association, um, those that reside in the U.S., they have been doing tremendously well. At certain days, the current scholarship that is being sponsored by Aloha Association in the U.S., that scholarship has been going on since I was in school, some 22, 23 years ago. Right. So, you know, BJ Harry, um, the Aloha Association, has been a major, a major partner to the school. There are lots and lots of money in projects that have been carried out, the, the full equipment of the computer laboratory, the remodeling of the, of the um, auditorium, uh, stopping to the teachers, principal, and so much, you know. So we that reside in Liberia, you know, we are not in competition. Rather, we are buttressing, you know, the effort they have made because during the dark days when we have a was closed, it was a little not so in the years who were able to raise money to reopen the other school while we were fighting war years. You know, so to the, uh, all of our partners uh, around the world who are, who are coming in, I mean, credit goes to, go, uh, out to all of us. And then I want to encourage you to go and, um, go online to our website and read about more about the association, the uh, upcoming convention. As I was saying, it will be a four day event from the 16th. That, is the, that will be on Thursday. It will be an Eastern and Welcome Party at the school. And then we go to um, Friday will be our um, registration morning. And then we will parade. The, the interesting part of the parade will be that we all who guys from Bill Abbott School will be wearing our uniform. Oh, wow. So that me, I very used to love to say, yeah, we'll be wearing our uniform to parade the streets of Monrovia and we'll drive from Bill Abbott School to ATS. So like me, I'll be wearing my bar shirt, my long pants. Like others will be wearing the, uh, what we used to call it, the fishing dress. And some will wear the senior uniform, the PE uniform, the special unit uniform. You know, we didn't have a stand above all other high school alumni associations in Liberia. We lead in other college. You know, for our work, all the alumni association members here in Liberia is trying to, you know, to improve and. Uh, uh, Oh, okay. Hold on. I will I will call him back uh, so he can complete his talk there. I will call him back. And uh, while we wait for him, uh, Mr. Hensworth, if I may, is there any collaboration uh, between your alumni association in any shape and form at all with other alumni association if I'm sure we do have like cathedral, CWA, Moravia, Examen, anything like that in the mix. One, one, of, one of our partners is the uh, St. Frisky Alumni Association, which is uh, St. Patrick's and, and, and Convent. Mm -hmm. So we, we have a standing agreement with them to support each other. Because the thing is not about uh, competition, mm -hmm. it's about collaboration and working in the best interest of education in like this. Right. So if, if we as Spartans can do our little bit and each of these other alumni associations can do their bit to help to better the education of the kids in Liberia, Liberia will be successful. So so we, we try to work with as many alumni associations as possible 
our primary partner, we actually have an agree a standing agreement with the St. Prisky Alumni Association to support efforts from, from both sides. Yeah, I, I think I think I think that that is that is a very good thing uh, because I see here in the U.S. like if the county organization is having their convention, the right the other counties and you know sometimes the other counties chip in like a hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. You know, it all helps, right? Because they go there is to raise money to be able to give back. So if these alumni associations are helping each other during their respective conventions. You know, um, it, it, it will go a long way, and I think it's good that you guys are looking in that direction. But let me get back to the chairman, and then uh, we'll come to Lithia to answer some of those questions. Mr. Chairman, please uh, go ahead, complete your thought, and give your parting statement. So we'll take leave of you because we'll be winding down here quickly. Okay. Um, uh, now, in concluding, like I said, on Friday, we're going to do the parade. Mm -hmm. And a sporting event at the ATS, mm -hmm. and then the same Friday night we have the uh, dinner, the dinner at the ministerial complex, where we'll be honoring some um, personalities in the country, and then also we will be um, um, the president of the public Adira will be uh, making a remark at the event. We mm -hmm. will be our chief, our chief patron, mm -hmm. you know, because he 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 through his efforts uh, our basketball court. The pavement, the pavement was um, really uh, rubbish, and um, so we just want to encourage all partners around the world, you know, to join in, so that we can make our December convention a memorable one, and then help us to raise the two hundred thousand, you know, so that we can be able to give back participate to our school. So um, you can come to our website. And the details are there, you know, and you will, you will get all the information that you need. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to thank you, um, the host. I want to thank uh, Alicia and Dafit mm -hmm. for coming in. I'm so sorry for the bad internet connection, but um, we will be in co we will definitely be in communication as we move forward towards the summer. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so very much. That was Edo Saki. He is the president of the B.W. Harris Alumni, Alumni Association, and he's based in <coughs> Nigeria. He joined us to be part of the conversation. We can't thank you enough for doing this. Let's see, there were a lot of questions that came your way that were actually intended for the subcommittee, talking about the flight and all that. Uh, do you want to answer those questions? Yes, uh, the, flight, uh, the flight will be uh, departing from Dallas International Airport, December 12th. Mm -hmm. It's a direct flight and be returning January 2nd. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, the Liberian uh, uh, soccer team uh, will be at, uh, on the same flight with us too. Uh, they, there's another group that taking the same flight and we, we having a big, re they having a big reunion in Liberia also. Mm -hmm. And also this, this is the bicentennial uh, 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 month starting from December. So mm -hmm. we have, Liberia will be very busy because we're going to have people coming from the diaspora and coming back to Liberia. So we're going to have a lot of people in Liberia for this, you know, occasion. Everybody will be going to everybody, you know, reunion. And so this flight, if, if, if you want to book this flight, there's a number for you to call mm -hmm. that you can book this flight. The number is 240-703- 0914. And we, the, uh, when you call that number, they also you can also do Zill, you can also do Cash Out, you can also do uh, 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 PayPal, you can also have the, we also have SendWave that you can pay with SendWave and all that money order, cash. When you don't cash, you can also do personal check. You have the address that you can send the money, you know, to. But when you go ahead and call that number, they will let you know exactly everything that you need to do when you call that number. All right. Thank you so very much. I'm trying to get that number on the screen uh, so that people can be able to see it, call to book your flight. Uh, and please correct me if I did not get it right so that we can get the right number to the people. Is that a number? Two four zero seven zero three zero nine fourteen. Zero nine one four. Okay, let me let me correct that. Uh, zero nine one four. <clears throat>
Oh, I think I got that right. Zero nine one four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let me show you again. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the number. Right. Okay, folks, uh, if you are watching us, like uh, Lithia said, you know, it's a chatter flight. Do it's a chatter flight, but you, I mean, let me ask a question. I shouldn't have zoomed here. So if I decide to travel just about the same time, uh, do this is a chatter flight, uh, can I call this number? Sure, sure. Okay. I mean, Spartan loves the company. We love people to come on. Mm -hmm. So you can call and you can come and associate yourself with us and even come to our convention too. And come to the convention and try yeah. to contribute something as well. Yeah. All right. We're all looking for funds to oh, help yeah. the kids. And, so, and also and eat some of the good food. Good. And yeah. we have a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so very much. So, uh, Mr. Hansford, is there anything that I didn't ask that uh, you wish to share for the listening audience and you know everybody listening concerning the convention? Uh, uh, on, on our end, so regarding this effort, mm -hmm. so we'll be reaching out to our members, you know, pushing out emails, shooting out blasts, mm -hmm. to let them know about this, to encourage people to, to register. Even if you're not going, you can still contribute. Mm -hmm. um, you can register even though you're not going. So you may not be going to Liberia, but you can you can, you can, you can help the cause by, by registering for that convention. So mm -hmm. um, we're going to be calling on our members and, and the public in general. So this effort is about supporting education in Liberia. Mm -hmm. no, uh, so. All right, and and uh, I see that on your website, I see donate uh, for members or alumnus. Who, uh, yeah, members who want to contribute, uh, can they go on their website and and, and make their contribution? And if they do, how will you be able to distinguish that they are making this contribution for what you are doing? Well, yes, you, can, you, you can contribute on the website. We have mm. different tiers and different different projects that are related to. So we have our lifetime uh, membership and mm -hmm. the fees associated with that membership. We also use the website primarily as our way of registering for convention. So when you register for convention, you go to our website. Mm -hmm. But you can you can you can contribute to the association by clicking on any of those links. It will take you to PayPal where you would indicate your name and you know how much you want to contribute. So, so there, there, that mechanism is there for anybody to contribute, uh, because, like I said, it's about educating the children of Liberia, and we're just one vessel being used to help in that process. Thank you, Letia. Anything you wish to add? Also, we have the website uh, of the uh, association in Liberia too. Oh, okay. So, uh, I think I send you that website. Uh, okay. So we can, people can also go on that website because people in Liberia also can, you know, go on that website to make their payments also. We have two websites. We have the Alumni Association of the U.S. website, and we have the Alumni Association of Liberia in Liberia website. So I'm going to send that to you. If you haven't you know, gotten that, we'll send it to you again. So at least you can, you know, put it on the site for us. Yes. I, 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 if, I may add, if you contribute, if you would like to contribute, whether you go into Liberia or not, um, you, we would like you to contribute to the link to Liberia because those funds yeah. will be going directly into their account on that. Mm -hmm. end. Yeah. So, you know, you know, so the whole idea is for you to contribute there. So that website is also important if you can get it up um, for people to visit so that they will be able to, to register. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not going to Liberia, we're calling on all Spartans all over the world and friends of Sparta to log into that website and register. Like like Ratia said, you got SendWave. We, we, there are different me uh, methods you can use to register for the convention or contribute to the convention. Because even though you may not be going, we will still take your $10 uh, or your $15 or how much ever you can contribute. We'll take that also. Thank you so very much. And uh, those means through which uh, individuals can contribute, uh, talking about your same way that would mean your mobile number and, and, and all that, uh, you can send it to me because when I'm uploading this to YouTube so I can pull the information there because there are many that watch the show later so that they can know uh, where to go to contribute. Yeah, I see that you send me the link here. Uh, I will also display it uh, for folks uh, to see. So give me some time here. But before I do that, let me bring this comment in. It's a long one from uh, Edward Doe. 
Recently, B.W. Harris had its 25 years civil jubilee convention in Houston, Texas. 25 years? And there's no education advocacy agenda in B.W. Harris platform? And we expect our, oh, this may bring in government in. Uh, Eduardo, yeah. I don't want, they, our conversation is not about government. This is the Alumni Association <laughs> trying to have a school that they believe gave them so much. That is what this conversation is about. So I will leave that one there. Uh, perseverance, achieve, achievement, quality. We stand together. Uh, will that be your motto? That is our school motto. Okay. Yes. All right. And then I see this uh, one from uh, Pompey Green. Our noble motto, perseverance, achievement, and quality. And quality. All right. So talk to me about that motto. Uh, did that motto inspire any of you? I mean, oh, yeah, it, it inspires all of us. Okay. All of us, you know, the, the, the ability to learn, get a quality education. That's, that's something we grew up with. Mm -hmm. And that's something we expect from us to be able to give back to those kids back home. So, so we are persevering as, as, a, as a school. The quality of education, we, we, we're working on improving. Mm -hmm. And that improves to what? Teacher, teacher uh, workshop programs, uh, scholarship programs, you know, lessening the burden of the parents of the kids at BW Harris School. So the whole idea is as we grow, our scholarship funds will grow and our scholarship output will grow. So we'll get more students on scholarships as we, as we go forward in the next of any year. So, so yes, we have that, that motor has been, I've been, for somebody who started from kindergarten, that motor has been uh, one of the driving forces in all of our, our lives, really. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I got the website here, uh, BW Harris Alumni Association Liberia. This is the website. It's www.bwhaalib.org. Uh, I think I need to make a correction there. I put E at the end, which shouldn't be. All right, again, yeah, it is. It's www.bwhaalib.org. Again, www.bwhaalib.org. That is the website for the Liberia branch of the B.W. Harris Alumni Association. And earlier we show you B.W. Harris Alumni Association in the United States um, or in America, I want to I think so. Uh, yeah, it, uh, you see it right here, B.W. Harris Alumina USA.org. So these are the websites you can go to and you will know more about the B.W. Harris Alumni Association. I believe they have options there for you to contribute if you are expecting in any part of the world, you can so do. That is a, a water cost. I want to say a uh, very thank you. Uh, this is how we'll come to the end, but we can't leave without getting your closing statement in Liberia. They say, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll come to you, Letia, your parting statement. And I want you to remind the audience, remind fellow Spartans about the convention what you expect of them, how they can contribute, the trip, the plane ticket, how to get there, do that. Well, my fellow Spartans, for the very first time, Be There Harris Alumni Association 2021 convention will be held in Liberia. We ask you to please contribute to the different seven year packages we have. We have also we have also set up for you to send in your ads. We have ads that you can place in our seven-year uh, package. We also have our seven-year uh, 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 shows, and we have the seven-year T-shirts, the cups, and all that comes with our package. Also, we have our different membership. We have the gold membership, the platinum membership, uh, and we have the... If you can bear with me for a second, because you know you can't remember all those things at the same time. Yeah. We have the gold membership, the platinum membership, and we have lifetime membership. So any one of uh, we have the sil silver membership and we have the bronze membership. So if you go on the website, you will see the different prices of these different memberships that you can also 
go ahead and donate and get your package for the ball, all the convention. You don't have to buy the whole thing. If you want to go to the ball, you can pay for the ball. If you want to go ahead and just put your ad in the souvenir brochure, you can do that also. But please, please, please contribute to us for a good cause. We're going to be partnering with a purpose. This is having a good time with a purpose. So please come and contribute for a good cause to help the children of Peter Harris. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Mr. Answer. Um, first, I'd like to say thanks for having us. Um, I'd like to call on all Spartans and friends of Sparta. You know, you don't have to be a, a graduate of BWI Harris to support this water course. And the cause is simple. We want to better the educational foundation for BW Harris School, children of BW Harris School. And in so doing, we'll be able to help Liberia develop. <coughs> so, so all I'll say to you is Spartans in the U.S., and the diaspora, please go to the, web, the, the website, um, register for convention. Um, even if you're not a Spartan, support a, a what they call. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Again, folks, uh, I'm going to do something quickly and then we will be closing the broadcast. Elia, we did show you the USA uh, website, that is the Alumni Association of VW Harris USA. We show you their website. This is the website of the Alumni Association in Liberia. As you can see, I'm displaying it so that when you click on that link, you know you're in the right place. So this is what it is. So um, at this time, we want to say thank you so very much on behalf of Focus on Liberia. What you have done today will inspire a lot of Alumni Association and other organizations as well. Uh, especially those of us in the United States, to see reason uh, to be able to be part of the Alumni Association of the schools that helps to make all who we are today. Uh, listening to you and seeing the effort that you've made, I will now make effort to contact somebody who may give me information concerning my school that I graduated from, which is the D12 High. So that's why I'm listening to you. You show your number one in academics, because I can say that too, we are number one, but again, what it costs, I hope all Spartans all around the world will be able to contribute to the what it costs so that you can achieve what you want to achieve. I hope you're thinking about, you know, raising that to a college. Uh, that's something I wanted to ask, but I forgot that, so we have to leave it there. <laughs> so folks, this is how we will come to the end of yet another edition of our program. Focus on Liberia Spotlight. We were happy to have uh, the Alumni Association of B.W. Harris. As always here, we always close our show with the song that says, we are all Liberians and surely we are all Liberians. Until we see you next time, I'm answering here saying bye-bye, folks. We are Liberians. Liberia is our